Life is weird. Yeah. I mean, it's so much weirder than anyone tells you when you sign up for it. When you sign up for it? I mean, they can't tell you, right? Who would, who would incarnate? Who would go from spirit to human form? Who would volunteer for this insanity? I mean, the man responsible for my husband's death is currently sleeping with my roommate in what used to be his own bedroom. It's weird. Are you okay? I am. Yeah? I am. Which is also very, very weird. Well, I would sign up for it. Really? Yeah. I mean, you know, if God or whoever showed me a picture of this, of you in this moment, in this light, I'd sign up for it. Really? If, if, if God was like, hey, um, so listen, your whole church and pretty much all of society, they're going to try and gaslight you into believing that the way you experience love is not only wrong, but a terrible sin. And you're going to have to suffer through decades of self-loathing until hopefully, maybe, you make it out the other side. Also, people that you love are going to die, tragically. And without warning, and the parents that bring you into the world, they'll ultimately not understand you at all. You would sign up for that. Yes. Yeah. I would. Because I, I had to claw my way out of what society wanted me to be. You know what my dad wanted me to be? I, I had to fight to live my life this way. And that, <laughs> I mean, that, that just makes it sweeter. You know, that, that makes this moment sweeter. And I would not trade this moment. Okay, so, you see, I'm being um, existential and cynical right mm. now because I'm afraid of pain, and you, you are being um, sweet and romantic and beautiful. You are so beautiful. And I am so afraid that I'm signing up for more pain. Fuck. You were the one who asked for this. I know. You said you wanted it. I did. I, I do. Hmm? I do. I do. Emmett, can you ride up ahead, kind of act like a siren, see if you can clear a path? OK. <laughs> not, not an actual siren. You can use words. Got it. OK. Look, going to need all hands to lift this thing over the curbs and pay attention to the crowd, because they are drunk and high, and we don't want to run them over. All right, to let's go. Please, Lynn, okay. you have to live. Terry, you've got to breathe, OK? Just calm down. And I'll stay with her a minute. Thank you. Love you. Wait, what? I love him. <laughs> you love him. I hear you. I I love her. I need to tell him. You want to go to the hospital? It hurt me. Come on. Come on, we can walk to the hospital. Put your arm around me. I got you. <laughs> baby steps, baby steps. How is he? Is he OK? He's being evaluated, and he'll likely need surgery. But he'll be okay. Look, I'll take you to the front desk, and they can give you updates, and we can get that ankle looked at. Thank you. Good luck, huh? 